Welcome back, people. Jason Walker 34 here, back with another video of Astromectica. Alright, so let's go ahead and move this over here. And get, the, get rid of that bubble because we don't need it. Okay, we're good. Alright, so at the end of the last episode, if you didn't make it that far, we got the upgraded uh, tier 3 oxygen tank and tier 3 chat pack. And our plan now is to actually go and check out that. Um, Shielded asteroid that's out there behind Theta 9. Uh, we also went way over there to those bubble shields down there. We also checked out the ancient spaceship thing that was over there, or at least what, well, what went, what looked like an ancient spaceship. It probably it looked like more of like the hull of an ancient spaceship that crashed something. I don't really know what the hell it was, but it was, it was very much, very clearly not like an entire spaceship, probably like a piece of one. I know one thing, this little, this little vehicle here, this thing needs, this thing needs like a, a front light system to it. Oh, there's clearly a lot of freaking uh, droids over here. these things pissed off at me at a time. Not a really good idea. Really shitty idea, actually, because it doesn't ever end well for me. Well, clearly this is like the uh, asteroid belt security system and clearly something turned the security system against all the people and I'm guessing it's like using it to like uh, kidnap everybody I'm guessing <laughs> I can grab recharged batteries. Obviously, I need to be more careful because, well, I don't have any fucking fabric. Yeah. It's up to my jetpack now to get me back out there to where I was, where I died. Luckily, I got the tier 3 jetpack, which has a massive storage tank worth of power or pressure, and it recharges extremely quickly. I 
like a thrust across a very great distance in a very short time. One more good throw, one more gr good jump thrust, and I should be able to get where I know, at least close to where I was. Well, I did was not really expecting there to be a freaking uh, an automatic drone. A drone with an automatic machine gun based system. Was not really expecting that one. No, not really. I wasn't really expecting that. data in that last run through that last episode I found like six research data on my, one of my expeditions there was a lot of boxes and I just decided to see if I could actually find something worth it and I yeah I did technically find worth something worthwhile but it really wasn't uh, that I eventually find a bigger supply of fabric because fabric is going to probably be one of the bigger things I'm not going to be able to find a, lot, find a lot of. So I need to pray in the hope that I can actually find uh, enough fabric to actually build enough med kits to actually do the, get the job done.
electrical. Well, the rest of these copper bits I'm gonna get rid of because I don't really need this much material. So we're just gonna go ahead and scrap all this. I mean, I'm gonna need this laser cannon, so I'm gonna need to be able to, I'm gonna need to, well, now it's time for me to head back out where I was, go back out there to that shielded bubble that's way out there. There's several points, like you got this big old a bright light over there, like way over there, on the other side of those domes, way over there, you see it? Yeah, that's a mal, I think that's what you would consider a malfunctioning portal warp gate. It's a malfunctioning warp gate, so it's totally doing something it's most likely not supposed to be doing. Letting uh, unauthorized users through. So it totally like, hacked the warp gate system, or maybe some species or robots or something clearly messed with the uh, warp gate technology and used it to gain access to our, our, our system over here see because well there's a whole bunch of green baddies right there the green ones are the machine gun ones and those clearly I mean I need something way stronger than the standardized shield system we got right going on because this only part of this shield system we got going on here only protects us from physical damage it don't protect us from anything else just the physical damage of running into something when we're flying Well, I kind of thought they would have like a, a range uh, upgrade for this. All right, now, now that we're back over here, we can actually go down inside this little hab base now. Carter, Orox Mining Corporation Technician ID number 78429. Mayday, Mayday, this is an emergency call. Please, we need immediate backup. There was an explosion. God, it happened so fast. The entire outpost is in chaos. I don't know what caused it, but it's not just the fire de and debris. Something or someone is attacking us. I'm trying to make my way to the armory, but the corridor is completely caved in. I'm trapped. I have nothing to defend myself with. I can hear noises, movement in the shadows. I don't say it doesn't sound human. If anyone's out there, please respond. We're running out of time. The outpost, it won't hold for too long. Mayday. <laughs> So I'd assume that that might over there must be the armory. Something I most definitely probably need to gain access to. It's a green door. So I could probably get in there if I really tried. Maybe I could slip through the, go through the depot. Maybe not.
know, I feel like there should be some form of explosive maybe that'll get, that'll get, actually, like, get you in there. Most of this electronic equipment here most likely will be thrown in the recycler machine. Alright, let's see, Ethan Carter, hey, hey, Alex, you there? Yeah, what's up? I swear, if I don't find the damn ceiling for my toxin suits, I'm gonna lose it. Where the hell is it? Did someone swipe it again? Did you check storage bay 3? Storage bay 3? Dude, that last time I went there, the damn lights flickered like I was walking down a horror moon. No way. Besides, we had one job. Keep the tools where they're supposed to be. But no, apparently organization's just a suggestion here. Are you stressed? You sound stressed. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. Did, did my lack of breathable air and to looming toxic death sound stressed to you? My bad. Relax. You can fix it. Fix it? I can't go in that toxic zone without the suit. I can't fix it fix a suit without the sealant and the iridium packaging. Yeah, those won't deliver themselves. Well, will they? Morox is not exactly going to pat me on the back for trying, are they? You could just take a break. A break? Oh, sure. Let me waltz up to HQ and tell them, hey, the reason you precious iridium to sleep is because my co-op work and thinks breaks are the solution to everything. Yeah, no thanks, Alex. Found suit yourself. Suit myself. Oh, great choice for it, buddy. Real helpful. I just suit myself right in a toxic death, shall I? If I don't find that seal in the next hour, I'm strapping a sign in my chest and it says Marks is new toxic waste mascot. Good luck, Ethan. Look, I need more than that, Alex. I need a miracle or a new co-worker. seem like I mean it's an armory okay you they would make it seem like maybe just maybe there'd be some kind of fancy like laser machine gun or something in there like a r actual ranged weapon with ammo or something you know something that you know could actually be used to fight the really nasty uh, creatures that are out here that area cleared let's go check somewhere else check our resources do i guess not we're uh, we're done let's head back to base because our resources are our resource storage is completely stuffed well i can i'll go back to theta as soon as i finish clearing my backpack out extra bad extra power cells only when I need them because clearly this thing's battery saving tech needs some serious work well I mean I'm lucky I'm finding these real little re blueprint boxes because they're very helpful I'm finding a lot of de halfway decent stuff like upgrade modules Although the last one I found was a freaking vehicle modification, and I can't get that. Although I do like the fact that they actually developed teleportation tech. They actually developed teleporter tech, which is actually very nice, very helpful, honestly. It's kind of scary, honestly, the fact that they actually developed teleporting tech. Nope, I don't need any of this stuff. I've got a bulk, a bulk amount of all of this.
I wonder if I actually use a bed or something. Will I actually go to get a uh, better, uh, like, actually heal myself from sleep by sleeping? Hook throw distance tier 2. Look at that. We're gonna recycle all the all the spare water we have. Well, the one liter waters aren't really useful. I could probably use all this excess ice I have to actually make better better material. Oh look, that's nice. I have, a, I actually have a use for these uh, berry things now. disappointed the fact that this isn't something I can actually use. I can't keep, I can't find a lot of fa fabric based material to keep making meth kits. This stuff doesn't grow on trees, people. Like, 
I don't know how you're supposed to find other locations, but then again, the game's still very new, so there's not that much in the game yet. Like, as uh, the overall of the game. Oh, I have fun. As soon as you even get close to that thing, you're probably, as soon as you can get close to one of those portals, it's probably going to tell you to turn turn back or if there's going to be some serious enemies nearby so you want to be able to get close to it without <laughs> risk of death. Wrestling asteroids, well, if the suit was good at its job, maybe I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to. It tore when I tried to squeeze through the cargo hold again. Why are you even trying to squeezing through the cargo hold? There's literally a door for the doors. Take time efficiency, my friend. Anyway. Can somebody explain the logic behind this? Doors take time. But yet it's easier to squeeze through a tiny space damaging your suit in the process which therefore takes away from your efficiency time and doing your job because your your shit's broke so somebody explain that sure but if i find, find space crumbs or whatever you're eating that you've been eating shoved inside the vents again i'm charging you extra this time it's not crumbs, it's survival snacks. And don't forget the air filter. It smells like burnt asteroid in there. I swear, you're the only miner who manages to make this their suit look, look like it's survived the war everywhere. Bring it over. But this is the last time. Yeah, yeah, last time until the next time. Thanks, so you're the best. You owe me again. Really? Why? All right, guess, I guess what? More finally decided I'm worthy of a gift. Yay, yeah, you heard that right. They sent me this shiny new sonic thruster. It's like they finally noticed I've been doing all the grunt work out here in the void. Let me tell you, this thing, this thing is a game changer. I slapped it onto my suit, and now I'm zooming through space like I'm in some intergalactic space. I mean, who needs legs when you got this bad boy floating in space? Floating as for rookies, I'm pra practically flying now. Though, uh, I might have gotten a little too excited to test the outside in the habitat. Yeah, bad idea. Knocked over half the storage crates. Scared the hell out of Alex. Pretty sure I dented the corner on the console, but hey, no big deal, right? Also, note to self, do not engage sisters while eating. Let's just say soup doesn't float as gracefully as I do anyways. Thanks, Mario. I'll be zipping around the asteroid belt like a space ninja. You'd be lucky if you can't even track me on the radar. Wow. He has made that seriously overzealous. He got a little wonk he's gone a little wonky on that shit now. Oh yeah. The hell's in this other room? Backpack tier three fragment and two blueprint boxes. Then you got all you got old poor Alex Alex uh, Alex's room here. He got a uh, warp fragment and a log file. I don't know why the hell that man has a, a freaking warp warp cord that's fragment. I don't know why the hell he even needs that. I wish somebody would explain that to me. Why the hell does that Alex Turner have warp coordinates? Why does he even have that? What use would that even be to him? He has no use for something like that, okay? I'm looking around for 
resources and other spare, other really rare resources. Really, anything, honestly. Anything I can actually make use of. That doesn't rely on me getting too close to the creepy bubble of doom over here. Oh, what's this? Incoming! I don't guess I saw this one. Oh, wait, never mind. Wait a minute. Never mind, I've already been in here. Uh. light is right here. I don't even want to know. New signal. Hello? Scan. Cracked open a new box with resource fragment, a uh, blueprint fertilizer thing in it, a uh, blueprint thing in it. I'm assuming this is for farming, so yay. Something I clearly, clearly can't do yet, but I will be prepared for it. Hello? Why does it look like I can actually go down in here? There's literally a way, well, what I would assume is the pre prerequisite to po a possible door. I would assume maybe you'll be able to eventually go down in there, but right now you can't. Entry, zero, gravity. What the hell is this? You know what? I won't worry about it. It's clearly some gnarly mojo shit right going on right now, so we've got to be careful.
Ooh, a repaired toolkit. Oh! Whoa! Hey guys, uh, I'm stuck in the container. Something jammed. I can't get the door open. But wait, what's that sound? I'm hearing strange, something strange in my comm link 47. Alex, is that you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who is this? It's Reese from the research. Center. Listen carefully. Alex, don't make any noise. Reese, what the hell is going on? What's that, what's that sound I'm hearing through my comm link? I don't know how much I have time I have to explain to everyone. Everyone here, they're gone. Alex just vanished like dust in the wind. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Where'd they go? I don't know. I was in the storage room when it happened. I came out. The entire outpost was silent. Empty. No signs of life. Just nothing. You're freaking me out, Reese. What's happening over there? It gets worse, Alex. I heard whispers. Faint whispers. Not human ones. And then I got a transmission from the mining asteroids. They said... Said what, Reese? Don't stop. What'd they say? They said alien-like monsters attacked and creatures from the asteroid caves. They tore through the corridors like paper. People screaming and then silence. No, no, no. This can't be happening. Are you see these sounds I'm hearing? Could be them? It's possible, Alex. You're in, in the mining outpost. They could be anywhere now, including near your position. You're kidding me, right? Tell me you're kidding, Grace. Grace, I wish I was. Listen to me, Alex. You need to get out of that container right now. You're a sitting duck in there. The door's jammed. I've tried everything. It's like if they seal shut, then force it open. Do whatever it takes, Alex. If those, those things are out there, they'll find you eventually. And trust me, you don't want to meet them. I'm trying, damn it. I can hear something. Footsteps. No, they're not footsteps. It's skittering. It's getting louder, Reese. Alex, don't panic. Focus, get the door open now. I'm trying, oh god, oh god, I can hear them outside the container. What if they know I'm in here? Alex, stay calm. They might not know what you're there. But if you make any sound, uh, metal metallic echoes banging in the background. They heard that, they heard that. Oh uh, shit, Reese, they're outside. They're scratching at the walls. Alex, listen, to me. stay quiet, don't move. Maybe they'll lose interest. Uh. Uh. Where is the thing? Oh, there it is. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, come back here. Yeah. Uh, stay calm. They might loot. They might not. Okay. Da -da 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 here. Listen to me. Stay quiet. Don't move. Maybe. You can make a face. I don't want to die in there. Not like this. You're not going to die, Alex. You hear me? You just need to hold on. I'm going to try and get a rescue center and just stay alive. Followed by heavy breathing and scraping metal sounds. They're in, Reese. They're in, Alex. Alex, respond. Are you there? Well, high capacity packaging. Ooh, what's this? Iridium. I have a single piece of sulfur. Alex and they get made him go bye bye. I'm just curious what this big old ball of light is right here. What the hell is this? Nah, away, away with you. I can't see. I don't know what it is, but it's clearly some some bad mojo up in there. I'll come back. I just can't see very well, so I need to I need to retreat back to the outpost. Uh I'm gonna pause here while I travel back and forth between the outpost. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna dump my stuff, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna come to this research station here. I'm assuming that's this big bubble bubble shield base right here behind where this uh, big glowing thing is. I'm assuming that's what this is. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So, I'll be back in a few minutes whenever I get, you know, back from the uh, main base and dropping everything off and doing other stuff like recharging the batteries if necessary. <laughs> Alright folks, we got a research blueprint from over there, so we're gonna see what, what's in here. A hook move speed uh, application tier 2. Now we 
can take out the rest of this stuff and then we'll be ready to move. Well, obviously after we drop all this organic material off. And the quartz and all the other materials that I need to store. Nickel. We're going to put the uh, non-stored materials away in here for, for now because I don't actually have a place for some of, some of this stuff. I don't actually have a place to store. Because I don't have a, sp a lot of space for all these extra resources, but I'm still gonna br keep br I'm gonna keep bringing it back because well, I could easily use this stuff eventually. I just don't know when, but I can make it. I'll make use of it eventually. Let's just put the fertilizer away in there. Put the tools and stuff right there because I don't have a I don't have a need for that specific stuff yet, but that's okay. Anyways, we're gonna put both of the power cells in here and let those things charge. We're gonna go through the process of switching batteries out for uh, charge. That's our battery supply completely restocked and refreshed. Now all we do have to do is wait on these power on these power cores here to charge. Once they're charged, we get work. We'll be good to go. So now it's just a waiting game. Thank you. 